This is Bob. He is a construction drone and he is about to change the industry. Let me tell you why. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is John at The Drone Life and today we're going to be talking about drones in construction. So if you're a construction company looking to implement drones at your job sites, you're in the right place. You are going to learn the major benefits of this technology, how it is implemented from the moment you place a bid until the final closeout, as well as instructions on how to download a completely free and value-packed PDF that dives even deeper into drones in the construction industry. So let's get started. Using drone data for the bidding process help you more accurately estimate project costs as well as help you win more contracts. Taking drone photos of the potential site provide a more in-depth understanding of its overall layout and condition. For example, creating something called an orthomosaic where the drone will fly the site and take hundreds or even thousands of photos and stitch them together and make a map. So it's just like a satellite image, but it's up to date and it's way more detailed. Having something like this in your proposal is going to make you unique, professional, and express to the client that you go the extra mile and really care about their project. Today, Earthworks companies are using drones to perform pre-construction site surveys. This lets them validate true project costs ahead of time and ensures that all team members have all the information they need before any dirt is moved. So the first flight is the baseline of topography for the entire site. And then once work is started, regular flights every few days or weeks are used to compare cut and fill changes from the baseline or from one flight to another. And yes, I did say days. So as we know, traditional cut and fill surveys were typically only done a few times throughout the entire construction process, which would often a lot of times uh, lead to inaccurate estimations, delays, and unplanned expenses. Not to mention these surveys took multiple days to complete, but because drones are so efficient when collecting and processing this data, that number drops to only a few hours. So drones and earthworks allow you to track all the materials being moved throughout the entire site and even see the efficiency of the vehicles being used for the job. You can produce super frequent cut and fill reports to increase visibility to everyone in the operations and you can even verify your plan compliance as phases are completed. Next up we have stockpile measurements. So this is by far my favorite use case of drones in construction. You can get volumetric calculations from the air super quickly and accurately. This is becoming the go-to surveying workflow at construction sites. As we know, surveyors would have to traverse around the entire perimeter of the stockpile get enough points and then go on top of it get even more points and that could be super dangerous super risky and and slow especially if they had a ton of stockpiles to measure it could be a really inefficient way of surveying instead you can just put the drone up and get measurements such as volume density and tonnage all of this with drone software which is accurate up to one tenth of a foot which is crazy. Having all this information is so crucial for creating up-to-date inventory counts, as well as making sure all construction sites are stocked with enough materials. You'd also reduce overestimated material and supply orders, which can help cut back on unnecessary spending and waste. So when using drones for these surveys, you will be able to monitor exactly how much volume of materials you have at your site, replace inefficient truck counting methods, as well as greatly improve survey time and safety. I'm sure that we can all agree that having good communication and construction is super important. Especially when there's a bunch of subcontractors and schedules to manage, it can become difficult to achieve an overall understanding of the site's condition and communicate that with them. However, when using frequent drone images and maps that can be easily shared and interpreted by all workers, it can drastically reduce the number of delays and mistakes from miscommunication. You can even overlay your CAD drawings on top of the orthomosaic map as a visual representation, and it's accurate enough that you can detect costly mistakes like concrete overpours or misplaced underground utilities. One of the most popular uses of drones in construction is progression monitoring. 
Usually photos would be taken every few weeks or months for documentation purposes. And with some drones that have advanced GPS systems, you can achieve consistent imagery that is taken at exactly the same spot and angle for a visual timeline. We're actually seeing now in contracts that drone photography is specifically required for documentation throughout the construction progress. Having the drone data is also a huge bonus for sending it out to the clients and investors to keep them informed during the building process. And having these consistent images can be super valuable for solving potential disputes. Doing periodic orthomosaic or 3D maps provide a record for any mistakes or blames that may arise. So you can look back and prove, no, we weren't behind, but here is who was. So doing these frequent flights can provide visual data for progress reporting, you can also allow stakeholders to keep tabs on the project, and you have visual proof for any potential disputes that might come up. Drones have also been a huge help for doing fast and safe inspections. It used to be a very tedious process to view inaccessible areas by having to set up scaffolding or have boom lifts, but now when you have a drone paired with a zoom camera, these inspections can be done in seconds. Rooftops, sides of buildings, cranes can all be inspected instantly. And for rooftops especially, thermal drone cameras can detect water leaks, cracks, and escaping AC. And many contractors are actually including thermal drone flights in their closeout to show to the client, hey, this roof was installed correctly with no issues. A huge bonus of all these drone images and videos is that there are a lot of ways to squeeze extra value out of them. Drones are quite frankly just an awesome piece of technology with new and exciting perspectives, which is why the best social media coordinators and marketing managers are using drone video because it captivates and engages audiences. Creating handouts, case studies, and social posts are just better when using drones. So make sure you just CC someone from the marketing team next time you upload some new progress shots. I'm sure they'll be really thrilled to get those photos. And if you're looking for more information about using drones in construction, specifically where to get started, stories of companies who've had success with drones, and qualities to look for in a professional drone company, then click the link in the video description to download our Drones in Construction Ultimate Guide. There is a bunch of information that we did not cover here, so make sure you go take a look. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me on LinkedIn or to schedule a phone call on our website. I appreciate you watching today's video, and I hope to see you soon.